Listen up. You're never going to be smart enough or cool enough or talented enough or famous enough. There's always going to be someone out there that is better than you at whatever it is you're trying to do. So you should probably just chill, because probably there's someone out there that's better than that person that you are envious of. And maybe these people that are really good at one thing are, maybe they are not as happy as you are, or maybe you can make a grilled cheese like five times faster than they are. So I think that you should just chill. You should stop making these people or letting these people make you feel like shit, because there are so many factors that go into being alive, being a human, and you're doing your best. You're doing a good job, so don't beat yourself up about where you are in life, your accomplishments, because you're okay. It's going to be all right. Just relax, keep your head down, work hard, see where you get. This story is for you, because you know what? You're good enough. Things are going to be okay. Just relax, enjoy this story, make yourself a really speedy grilled cheese, and uh, see how you feel. Hopefully better. This is called Beauty Was Her Religion, and it goes like this. Cora walked down Dundas feeling fucked up and like she didn't have enough tattoos. It was only 12.30, but she couldn't be at the bar anymore, and she couldn't talk to humans anymore. Her hair was wrong, and her clothes were wrong, and her limbs were too big, and everything she said made her sound le desperate and like she was 11 years old. She didn't know who Alain de Botin was, and she'd never listened to Patti Smith, and she didn't have enough money for another $18 marmalade, black pepper, gin, broibus, lobster claw, honey, tequila, grenadine, genocide, cocktail at the pretend speakeasy under the palm reader sign her friend had taken her to. When Cora was 11, she felt that she could never be good enough. Each night she said five Hail Marys, one Our Father, and an elaborate prayer she made up, asking God for protection from disasters, from every disaster she could dream of rape through earthquakes, yet she still carried this feeling of badness in her, like a hard cigarette butt in the center of her soul. The top layer of snow had melted and then frozen again, and then there was a thick layer of ice over the city, like Toronto was trying to keep Cora out. She slipped on the sidewalk and bruised her knee, and when she was 11 she could never be good enough, and now she was 25 and she could never be cool enough. She could never eat enough chickpeas to feel full, and Toronto hated her, and the successful artist she had met tonight hated her, and if God existed, he would have hated her too. And then an old woman at a streetcar stop shouted out to her, You're a very beautiful woman, and Cora stopped. The woman had a scarf around her head, like Cora's Polish great-grandmother, who died long before Cora was born, might have worn. Her fake teeth slipped around inside her mouth, and her eyes were as shiny as the ice on the streets. Thanks, said Cora, so are you. And she remembered the feeling of being in church, sending her sins through the stained glass windows and set, stepping out on the cold concrete Sunday morning parking lot, waiting with her brothers while his dad, her dad finished his post-Eucharist cigarette, the light on the icy snowbanks on the drive home. And maybe beauty was her religion now, writing words that would make the world seem better. But Cora wasn't eleven anymore, and the people she met tonight were not God. Being stylish wasn't the same as being beautiful, and here was a woman with no teeth telling her that. Cora didn't need to feel the same cigarette butt of anxiety, devotion without a manhole cover. She could see beauty and make beauty without reading every book and seeing every film. The city was slipped over with ice, but she used her treadless boots like skates sliding along the top of it. The streets sparkled and the trees bowed down to her after the heavy winter. So that was called Beauty Was Her Religion. Thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely week.